Hi sewing friends, welcome to my sewing room. My name is Beth and if you're new, welcome. These little tiny triangles were initially in the trash next to my sewing machine and I later pulled them out. They're leftovers from a project that I was just working on. I was sharing with you the prairie patch quilt block and these are the little tiny pieces that really are too tiny to save for most people, but I thought, you know, I'm gonna sew those together and see what I can come up with. I cut the little tails off the corners of these half square triangles and since they were cut uh, very haphazardly and some were cut from two and a quarter inch squares and some were from two inch squares, they are different sizes. So I just went through and I tried to find some that were similar in size and for this little sewing project today, I'm not, nothing is going to be exact and I'm going to be okay with that. My teeny tiny quilt block here, I used four half square triangles. One, two of them have a white side and the other two are both colorful. And I'm gonna put those together and I'm gonna try to make enough for a small little project. Maybe it'll be a coaster, maybe it'll be a pin cushion, but I probably just stop when I get my tiny quilt block together. I'm gonna to see how many of these half square triangles I can use up making my little quilt blocks. Once I had four made, I tried to decide in which way I would lay them out. There are quite a few options, but here it is. And remember I said these little pieces were not gonna be exact, but it's really amazing how even when they're off just a little bit, everything seems to come together. And yeah, I um, for these little tiny pieces, I don't worry too much if my seams don't match. 
It just gives me pleasure to use a map and to enjoy the design that shows up when you put them all together. Really liked that first little quilt block I made but I had a lot of half square triangles that were all different sizes and some of the smaller ones so I started sewing those together in rows of four and once I had four rows of four I decided it was just a little too small and you can see the edges aren't really lining up perfectly and then I decided I'd make it just a little bit bigger so I made two more rows around that so that this little quilt ended up to be five half square triangles by five half square triangles.
I did have enough half square triangles left over to make one more quilt block just like that first one I made and then I will be turning one of these into a small quilt for my dollhouse. I chose this quirky quilt block here with the different sized half square triangles and a small piece of background fabric. So I put them right sides together, trimmed around. I did leave a little excess just in case things shifted while I was sewing it all together. And I sewed all the way around, leaving an opening so that I could close that up after I'm done. It was so fun using these tiny pieces to make a little, a new little quilt for my dollhouse. It's just the perfect size and um, I've been having fun filling this dollhouse with little homemade items, uh, little things that I find here and there. I still have a ways to go. I'm having fun as I um, make little things like this rug that I made recently. Anyway, uh, thanks for joining me as I sewed these little tiny pieces together. Thanks for joining me, and I'll see you next time.